next song we got Rolling Stone. I can shake them, but they follow me. Follow me. I wish I could take it easy, but this fame was me. That's my mama, I've been hustling since the sand box. Sand up. I'm sorry in advance if I let you down. Let you down. Bitch, you just spilled my empty no mama cry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that was. I don't know what the word is, like the definition of it, but he did something. Because he said, let me see, let me see. Hold on. First time, exciting, then I'm gaslighting. First time, exciting, and now I'm gaslighting. Make up your mind. I don't know what he did. That's a word. And it's like a sneaky thing. It's like because you're playing mind games on it. Because you're, you, this is not good, by the way. Obviously, I gotta put a disclaimer. We don't, we don't want this. But <laughs> he might be too far gone. He's doing. I don't know what the word is, but he's, he's there's something manipulating. There's something there. I just felt it. I felt it. And he just did it so, so elegantly, so smoothly. It, it was like, it was like if it was happening in real time, he wouldn't even pick it up. Ugh. People hate and love me at the same time. I'm rich and nothing at the same time. Guess I'm everything. I'm butchering the words, but he said every I'm everything and nothing at the same time. It's like he it's like it's like if he's talking to somebody saying this, it's what is the way is it manipulating? I think it is. It's like it's these mind games where he's like making you feel pity, but not in a pitiful way. It's like, I know I have this stuff, but I'm not feeling the worth. But I know I am, but I, no, he's, he's presented it in the way where like he's saying, I have these things, but I'm not feeling my worthiness go up. But in his mind, he knows he's up, but he's just saying it so he can get something out of it, out of the person that he's talking to. Figured it out. That's genius. Genius. Not good, though. <laughs> Don't do it. I don't want to say it yet, but I'm going to say it. There ain't no misses, man. Ain't no misses. None. None. Because even the songs that aren't as good are still 8s. Still 8.5s. That was nice. I got little tingles in my body. That was, that was kind of nice. Ugh. He's doing a great job at painting these, these pictures. It's like this. It's like I'm watching a film. Pretty much. And I, it's like I've seen films like this and he's putting that through his, and he's displaying that through his music and he's doing a really good job at it. FYTB featuring Junie. Baby, I see you so much in my dreams. We didn't work it out. Cause you're talking about. This is, okay, now this might just be me. But what he's saying, and the way that he's saying it, it's like he's 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 saying this in a way where his like his back is up against the wall, like he just got caught doing something. By he was with one fling, and that fling saw him with another fling, and she was like, "What are you doing?" And he's saying, "Bro, I think about you all the time. What do you mean? If I think about you all the time, why would I go out being with somebody else?" It's it sounds like his back is against the wall right now, and he's digging into his bag and he's pulling some stuff out. That's what it's like. like. He's saying the same things that you would say in a love song, but it's not really a love song vibe right now. It's, why don't you believe me? You, do you really think that was me? Really? Well, let me tell you why it's not me. That's what it, that's what it sounded like. That was great. Oh, wow. Perfect use of switching the flow up for his feature. At, when he first came in, that was just, it was like on the tip of my tongue. I was just about to say, I don't know how I feel about this feature. And then he just quit and it just, and he was like, wait, I didn't even start yet. <laughs> that was great. That was really good. Junie, I think that's how you pronounce it. That was great. 
Dub feature. That was really, really good. What I told him? Uh, the pace. The pace of the beat. Because sometimes when we hear beat changes, like, it just switches up completely. Like, the beat was nice, and then they just changed it to a whole other beat. And it's like, I like that beat too, but it would have been nice if you kept this beat. Like in Jimmy Cooks, for example. If 21 Savage was on that first beat, I kid you not, that song would be maybe two, three times better. But they changed it to a beat that was still good, but it's like, you know, keep, keep the beat a little bit. You don't have to keep it the exact same way. You can change the pace a little bit, make it faster, make it shorter. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. They, they, they did that. All right, next we have another skip. Oblivion. Well, the night ain't over yet. You want to ask your driver to make a beat for See, now this is the other fling that I was talking about, right? This is the fling that he was with. And so at the end of that song, there was like an airplane noise. So he just caught a flight and then he went to go see. He left his one fling that caught him, but then he changed it and got out of that situation. He's leaving that fling to go see the other fling in a different state because he just caught the flight. <laughs> I'm so freaking smart, bro. I mean, I don't know how smart I am because it probably is just super obvious. But still, I like how I like I got some dopamine from piecing in the puzzles together. It ain't like y'all got a baby or nothing. Well, the story ends. Hey, why didn't you know Let me get that for you. I just heard the freaking interlude to the latest video on hub on the hub. I just. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I'm never going to listen to that skit again. The other one, maybe two or three times. I'm not going to kind of skit as a skip, but I'm skipping that one. Um, next, Dead Man Walking, we've heard that one. Addictions, Brent and Shramani? Shramani. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I wanna have I wanna have so much more threesomes, but you're so territorial. <laughs> oh god, nobody would ever say that to their partner's face. Oh god, nobody. And then they're written this in a regular relationship, not no polyamorous stuff, just in a regular relationship, oh god nobody's saying that. Nobody. Nobody. You <laughs> Drugs in these hoes got you fucking tripping. I made a million on the road, you be happy Christmas. Saying I would stay down, but you know I didn't. Yo, baby, it's to love the truck. That was a really good feature. He took his time with that. He, like, he, that was like a minute and a half. That was a, that was the, the longer it went on, the better it got. That was a good feature from Trey Mani. Good feature. <laughs> That was a good one. It was it was more a beat than the rest of the songs. And I, from the little that I've heard from Brent, I haven't heard too many upbeat ones. That was a good song. I think that one might get the most, not the most, but it's going to get a higher amount of replay value because it was a beat. That was a good one. That was a good one. Next one we got Role Model. I feel like, Role Model? Have we heard this one? I don't think so. No. No. Oh. Mm, vibe of the album is like a, it's like a coming home type of thing. Ooh, I love that. Oh, wow, that really caught me by surprise. I really like that. <laughs> Did he just It's not that he dug deeper in his bag It's like he just got a different bag This is my favorite We're not halfway done with this song This is my favorite This is my favorite one right Explain it. It's like this crescendo But like an emotional crescendo Like I'm elevating But I'm on like a power trip Ooh, this is that superhero music. That's like what you play after I save the kid from a burning building.
That was the best song on the album. That was the best one. That was the best one. That was, forget the album. That might have been one of the best songs that have came out this year. That is one of the best songs of this year. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That felt like a... If I had a movie, and I was the main character, of course, this would be it. This would be, that would be the song. Okay, well, well, let's say I was a superhero, right? And then a villain came to my house, to my, my territory, and they just beat me up. They just, just, just dogged me, nasty, embarrassed me, right? And so then I left, and then I got some new superpowers, and then I came back home. This, this is the song that would be playing. Like, as I take my cool little walk and stuff, as I have my, like, new weapons, and I have this new crew behind me, this is the song that would be playing. Oh, wow. That was amazing. That was great. That was great. That was great. Okay, next song, Jackie Brown. I gotta catch my breath. That was really, really good. I might be dig right in a little bit. That was really, really great. Well, they put a few eyes with a full light like No feature. Only been days, but it felt like months. Is this him? Just like higher pitch. All right, that was Jackie Brown. That was a good one. That was, it's... It's closing, now we're closing the album. Um, you don't want, what you gotta do when you close the album, you gotta do it in a timeful manner. You don't wanna drag it out too much because you know, the excitement, the antsiness is a little gone now. So you don't wanna drag it out too much. You wanna just have a nice ending. And I think he's putting that into place. And you got two more, two more songs, you got one more skit. I've never been more excited for a skit. I thought about skipping it, and I was like, no, you can't skip the skit. You got to see how it ends. How does it end? Um, we have bad luck before we have our skit. Let's see. Visions of you and me, so happy. It's over now, you're gone away. Still, I can feel your energy someday. I just got this warmness in my heart. It was like, you ever had like your favorite meal after a rough day? And then you just like, you, you just feel hyper like everything to food. But you know, it just, <laughs> let's say you're having a bad day and then something happens and you just feel better. I just got that from this song, from the, the 50 seconds. Unlike the other ones, where he says lovey-dovey stuff, there's no objective to this one. He's just saying it like it feels like he's actually like, like the genuineness is actually there for this one compared to other ones. And the mood that he's setting, I also feel that. And he's been doing a great job at making his music translate to pictures and emotions. And he's doing that with this one too, but it's totally different from what he was doing earlier in this album. It's like he just took like a backtrack, like he went on that little trip and he realized what his priorities were and now he's like coming back to it. I thought that we'd be everything that I had hoped to be. It's over now, I don't believe. That was really good. That song was very sad, but... <laughs> He didn't paint it in a sad way. It was like a realization type of way. Like, I'm going to do better now because I messed up before or I just because of the bad luck that I'd gone through before. I'm going to do better to make sure that I don't really have that bad luck again. And that was really nice. Next one. Remember, skit. Dang, five minutes. Dang it. Dang. Babe. Hey. I'm very okay. Hold on, I'm very okay. Hello? <laughs> what happened? I, I fucking hate you. What? You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. 
Yo, tell me where you at. It doesn't matter where I am. You don't give a fuck about me. I don't think you realize how serious this is. You never do, Chris. We're having a baby, and I'm a terrible mother. You don't deserve a child. You definitely ruined her life. What do you mean I don't deserve a child? Baby, what you talking about? Yo. I've always been depressed and alone, Chris. But when I fell in love with you, I felt happy for the first time ever. Now that there's a part of you in me, I never felt more depressed and alone in my entire life. Oh, dang, that just made my body irk. Oh my god, I didn't want to throw up. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. I gotta kiss my breath. Oh. I'm almost there. Don't do this. Hey, don't hurt yourself or the baby, please. No. You can't always get what you want. You're my girl. Oh, sit. scene that was very sad that was hmm. that was kind of depressing that was very de Whew. Whew. oh man oh my heart hurts no I'm gonna gather my thoughts and then talk about it later last song is angel <laughs> With the, I'm gonna say this enough. Such, I'm gonna say everything in the most monotone way possible, because I want you guys to know how serious I am right now. That has to be one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life, and I'm not, I'm not over exaggerating. Now let me tell you why. To me, there's three levels of pieces of work right you have mixtapes when you're just you just have songs just to get it out there just to get people to know your name you have albums which is like a collection of music it, it may have a theme to it but it's just it's just a collection of music right it could be all over the place it could be like a playlist type of thing and then you have albums that take you on a journey and you have albums where they give you they open up another point of view that you didn't have before and they took you on an adventure and to me those are the best albums and this wasteland the journey that brant took me on i don't know bro i don't know because it was like i was saying it throughout all the songs it was a full movie the theme, the theme of it, what I got from this movie, because he gave us his situation and he really explored his mindset and he, he, opened, he let us into his mind and he was doing all these things that were fun, that were easy and that people glamorize, which is having options, right? And then... You have a good thing and then you mess it up because you created these habits that you can't get out of. And it may seem harmless to you. It may seem like it's not that big of a deal. You're looking at the consequences and you're like, you know what? I can live with that. That's okay. And then you just go a little bit too far. And now you and everybody else involved lost something and coming into this album I was expecting the toxic level to be 
as high as I can be. And it was. But I wasn't expecting it to come around full circle. Because sometimes when you hear this toxic stuff, it just ends like that. It just ends not saying what else happened. It leaves you not a cliffhanger, but it just it gives you all the good parts. Right. And it doesn't really give you the effect that it has on you and everybody else involved. And I never heard it circle around to somebody saying the consequences for their actions. And if they do, they don't even say, they don't say the consequences at the level that it was. Because I'm assuming everybody died. The person who gets to live, fling number two that he went to go visit. And now she has to deal with, now she has to deal with the guilt because she was, she played a part. She wasn't the reason. Brent was the reason or Chris was the reason. But she played a part in that because she said, you know, it's not like you guys have a baby or anything. It's not that big of a deal. And then she proceeded after she, like, even if you didn't have a baby, you know, you proceeded to go along with the actions. That was amazing. That's the best album of this year. And the songs, it was, it's competing with Sacrifice, Die Hard, all the best songs. That, that was amazing. That was the best. That was the best album of this year. Wow. That really took me off guard, too, because I wasn't expecting to say that at the end. I wasn't expecting to say that after I finished. Oh, man. That was great. I can listen to that all the way through. Over and over and over again. That was one of the best journeys musically I've ever been on. That was amazing. And, it, and, it, and it's great because... I was able to feel every emotion that I was supposed to feel throughout each song. Like role model, it was like, it was a realization of I can do things the right way and still be happy. But then when he, when he came to that realization, he came home and he saw that the actions that he already made, those consequences were coming into action and it was too late. You came to that realization too late. You should have had that realization before you went out and did what you did. But then after you did what you did, you had that realization and I was too late and now everybody's dead classic hood movie you know you get you get out the gang and then the gang because it kills you <laughs> you get out the game and then the game just ends up taking you away anyway that was amazing he just elevated he, he escalated himself i mean i don't even know where he was before but talent wise production wise quality wise that was amazing oh my goodness okay i don't want to gas it too much that was the best album of this year one of the best albums i've ever heard let me know what you guys think in the comment section i gave it a green easy green best green easy am i oh am i doing too much am i saying too much you let me you let me know what you guys think but until then i'm gonna see you guys in the next video okay